Alright, what's up guys? Ten in a box. I don't know how my head looks or how my hair looks currently right now because I really don't care. It's 4 a.m. in U.S. time right now. 3.30 actually. But we're about to do this quick run, uh, patch rundown for Anji Mito for the 10.14 patch for Guilty Gear Strive. And uh, let's go ahead and try to walk through this slowly. Alright, let's see what these notes say. Let's see what these notes say. Grounded throw. Increase the horizontal blowback. Damn, look at that distance. Ooh, hold on. That, that was a combo. What's the next? Standing far S, decrease the lower hitbox and her box. Ooh, so what did I say again? Decrease the lower hitbox. So now it goes over things. And it's, look how fast that is. I don't know how many frames that actually is. But that's super fast. Reduce startup of crouching P. Now reduce startup. Does that mean it's faster? <laughs> yeah. It's hella fast. Okay. Ooh, that means stuff like this will combo. Okay. We're not, we're not like everyone else yet, but we're close. We're closer than what we were. Yeah, we're closer than what we were. That does such a big blowback, though. Yeah. Forward, uh, heavy slash. Anji is no longer in counter hit state after he activates after frames in. Active frames in. Hmm. So I can't be counter hit out of that? Is that what you're telling me? There's supposed to be jump slash in the... That's heavy slash, so it's... Yeah. I, I think he would have to be jumping, actually. Ooh. That's a different change, though. That's probably going to be faster. Let's actually see that. Oh, there we go. Uh, there we go. Uh. Hold on a second. Okay, let's get that in a different. Oh, oh that's definitely faster. That's definitely faster. Uh. Oh, my goodness. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So. Huh. That's super hard to get though. Yeah, and you gotta be mid screen? It's just a lot faster and easier to hit now though. And you can like literally do it for free instead of have to wasting uh red RC. I can hit it with that! Yo, no way. No, Bro, you can get that for free without. That's 211 damage. That's 211 damage. 211 damage without red RC for free. What's the next thing? Shitsu, reduce starter, reduce recovery, and reduce hit on the first hit. Shitsu, butterfly rate, I'm pretty sure. So, yes, butterfly is now quicker. As you can see, it's actually a regular projectile now, and I can move so much faster out of it. We can almost jump immediately after it's thrown. Look at the end of the fan wave. Look how fast that is. Remember, it used to just be like... I wish I had a side-by-side -side comparison to show you. Also, that means you could do something else that I think it says. It does um, reduce hit stuff on first hit. But something else that I found out do my, through my own um, practice over the last 10 minutes is it has a big knock up now. What was it? What was it? Oh, mess it up. Mm, what did I do? I did something ridiculous. It let me combo off a of butterfly.
Oh, was it just the red RC? Something let me, as you can see, it popped him up again, though. But there was something that let me... Hold on. Ah, hold on a second. Something like that. I do not remember. And does it travel full screen now? No, it doesn't. It still travels the same. But it's a lot faster, as you can see. Fujin reduced startup and increased base damage scaling. Fujin is stronger, and now there's... Ooh, look at that big-ass pop-up, though. Hold on, G. Hold on, G. Mmm... I'm pretty sure there's a lot more lab monstery stuff you can do with that. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, it was a across the board change to where some of the faster moves and some of the slower moves got boosted up in speed. Is it slash? Yeah, you can go gathering slash into dust and heavy slash into dust as well. But I think your heavy slash knocks him down, so. Or my heavy slash knocks him down. Anji's. Isoku Tobi. Anji is no longer in counter hit during the animation. That's the hop? Oh. So after I land, I, don't, I can't get counter hit anymore. So you can probably do stuff like that. No, it's not counter hitable after I land. So it's just back to zero. He said Ugi Sai no longer can clash. So... Super can no longer clash. I want to see that. Hold on. I want to see that. Because you could already combo after it, as you can see. Uh, what else is down here? That's it, actually, for Anji. We've addressed the problem where his 4P would struggle to connect due to being shorter horizontally than other characters. Which is, I think, what we went over earlier. Let's see. Counter hit, regular. Have our opponents crouching. As you, It had this problem, like, like this same problem right here. But it would be like over them. Like if you were right on them, it would it wouldn't hit this, just because they're crouching. But now it's more like a regular. It has a lower hitbox, a bigger a bigger hitbox. I wonder if that means the hurt box is bigger too, though. But it actually hits like a regular four P now. Ko is easier to use in combos and also stronger as an anti air. As opponent floats less, jump attacks like after Ko connect more easily. As a second hit now causes guard crush, really. You can also continue your offense now when the opponent blocks it. Jump, all guard. All right. Ah. Oh, so you can get stuff like that. Okay. So it just kind of gives you more plus frames, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So it looks like more plus frames. Let's see. By making the start of a Fujin faster, it can now be linked into far standing S. Ooh! And crouching S. Yo, it's about time. Hold on. This is something that was a real, real big problem that uh, Twitter has been talking about for a while now. That his far standing S doesn't link directly into Fujin. So that's where the one of the, his biggest gaps were to be to punish. Um, Anji's pressure from starting up. That would mean this would link. And it links. Yo, bro. That means stuff like this. Yo. Uh, it didn't have a... Wait, that would mean it would, it would link from this as well. Now, right? Because it already links from crouching. That's how you're supposed to actually link it. Or you're supposed to finish it with the heavy. But now that you can just get a, just a regular hit like that. And go into crazy damage. Look at this. That's almost half of Leo's health bar. Just for me hitting a round start.
That would have been Leo's, 65% Leo's health party. Easily. Easily. It's about time. We got some buffs for our boy. Hmm. Let's see here. We have raised the, raised the popular issues that they can now be used outside of Okazumi. Yeah, which is the fireball we were talking about earlier today. It can be canceled in... Whoa. It can be canceled into from normal to use as mid-range easily. Okay. Hit standard throw... His standard throw has also been changed in accordance with Chitsu, making it easier to carry the opponent into the corner. Hold on. <laughs> oh, so now it's just easier to hit. Hold on a second, bro. Does this actually... Is this... Okay. Ah, 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 I don't know, brother. I don't know, brother. <laughs> That's kind of a baby mix. That's kind of a high-low. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this little mini breakdown of Anji's new buffs in the Guilty Gear 10 uh, October 14 patch. Uh, tomorrow, when I wake up, we'll be doing some Leo buffs, and we'll also be digging into some other characters as well. But as always, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to there, crush that like button, and I'll see you next time. Peace.